Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Yesterday we started to talk about themes in Office 2007, and a theme is comprised of colors, fonts, and effects. And I want to give you a quick overview of how the effects work. I have some shapes here in my document. I'm going to go to the Drawing Tools Format tab, where you'll see a palette of all the different built-in formats. And basically, Microsoft classifies these formats as simple. Those are the ones in the top row. The ones in the center are moderate, and the ones at the bottom are intense. And when we go to the Page Layout tab and open the Effects drop-down, you'll see that there's three shapes in every thumbnail. There's a circle, there's an arrow, and then a rectangle. And basically how this works is the circle kind of gives you an idea of what effect is used for the simple themes, the ones in the first row. The arrow gives you an idea of what effect is used for the moderate themes, the ones in the middle. And the rectangle gives you an idea of what's used for the intense theme. So I have three different ovals here. This is simple, moderate, and intense. And you'll see as I roll over the various themes how the effects will change for the moderate and intense styles. And it does actually kind of make sense. Like up here, the civic theme, it has a dotted line for the simple styles. And you'll see that that top oval turns to a dotted line. Here this foundry theme has a very thick line for the simple styles. The paper theme has a texture behind the intense styles. And so you can kind of get an idea of exactly how the different effects are going to be applied as you look through the thumbnails in the effects drop-down. Now next time we're going to talk about building a custom theme in Excel and unfortunately you're going to have to choose from one of the 20 built-in effects themes um, in order to build that custom theme. We'll talk about that next time. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.